Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Welcome to you to my series Iconology and Temple Architecture Perspectives. In this lecture series, I have visited multiple temples. I have gone personally, taken photographs, taken videography. Now, reason behind taking these two is you can analyze it better once you bring it back to your office and see it in a leisure, see it in more detail and you start finding many structure, many things, many minute uh, details which you have not seen at the site, you will start finding them. So, also it is uh, good to have a comparative aspect of same styles somewhere else once you come to office. So, that is why we have photographed in, in different angle in multiple ways and videographed also in multiple ways. It is uh, important that these are protected sites and before doing this thing, we have to take permission from archaeology. I acknowledge with thanks archaeology department for sanctioning me permission. With this brief, let us get going to the topic that is Huchimalli temple. Huchimalli temple is in Aihol. As you know, Aihol is in Bagalkot district near Badami and it is one of a temple city or it is one of a place in India where you will find all sorts of temple in all developmental stages and all glorified architectures and their uh, structures. So, not only Durga Mata temple complex is important, it is important but also important are the surrounding small temples but they give you a wealth of information. Now, this lecture is on Huchimalli Mandir. This is Huchimalli Temple Complex. It is a part of uh, Aihori temples. It is outskirt of the town and we will see it in detail. Now, this is the annexure temple, what they call as temple Samudai and this is the main temple. So, there is one main temple and there are annexure temples. Don't miss it if you come to Ivory. It's a beautiful, same style as it is always said. Ivory is a school of architecture for temples. So a lot of different varieties, lot of experimentation can be seen here. This was a video giving you brief idea how the premises is. Now each and every corner and aspect of it, we are going to photograph it and see it. We acknowledge with thanks the archaeology department who has preserved it in a such a nice way. Absolutely a good attempt, a good restoration and a lot of reconstructive work they have done but absolutely in phenomenal ways. The Aho momentums are located in the Indian state of Karnataka about 190 kilometers southeast of the Belgaum. The Aiho site preserves over 120 Hindu, Jain and Buddhist monuments. So, it is important that all religions were respected in this area by the kings and all of them have got their well preserved monuments. The region is also a site for prehistoric domains and cave paintings. Do visit it once you go to it or see in our other videos all these things. The Huchimalli Gudi temple is one of the most beautiful temple in the Aihori, a small size but seems to be unique in architectural style. So, if you are lover of architect 
temple architect it is a feast for you it's a good information for you the temple somewhat resemble durga mata temple the temple has huge main hall then observe many beautiful works the temple is completely dire pedated the Huchimali Gudi is the uh, home of uh, shrines of Lord Shiva, Vishnu and Brahma. All these things you can see at the same place. It was built in 7th century and is considered one of the earliest temple in Aihole. The temple is situated to the north of the Aihole city. The sanctum is inclusive of uh, Pradakshinapatha and a northern Indian Rak Raksha Nagara, that is Nagara Shiles, Rekha Nagara. Rekha Nagara, you will see a lot of temple in this Aihor city also. Rekha Nagara is a sub variety of Nagara type, that is the North Indian type, but a mixture of North Indian and South Indian type you will find here. And it contains lattice of external wall. The another small temple that dates back to 11th century AD is situated on the north of this temple. Then what is the ancient significance? Puranic. Then Huchimalli Godi Temple at Aihor, built in 7th century, as we have seen already, shows an evolution in the temple plan as it shows a Rekha Nagara type of uh, dome that is the Shikhara and Ardha Mandapa or the antique chamber annexed to the main shrine. So it is the beginning of uh, Antrum. Hachimali group of temples are to the north of the village behind the Travellers Bangalore. That's a local uh, address of it. The sanctum here has Pradakshinapatha and external wall containing lattice. The sanctum has a northern style of Rekha Nagara tower. It is this temple, the Sukhasana or the vestibule was introduced for the first time in India. A little away in the fort is another dialepidical temple. Another small temple to the north of Uchibudi is assigned to the 11th century. So, 7th century and 11, 400 years span was there in between two these type temp temples. Both we are going to see it. It is a protected monument under the law of Indian government and managed by the Archaeological Survey of India. So, good discipline, good cleanliness and well maintained. They had done good reconstructive work also. They have tried to restore whatever damaged portion. Built in 7th century, the shrines are dedicated to Shiva, Vishnu and Brahma. That is Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. All the three shrines are there. Then uh, one of the notable features of this temple is tap water well. Tap water well is a water source which is always there in all Dravidian type of temples. And they indicate carvings of uh, Kartikeya and his attendants. The temple also depicts Brahma, Garuda and Surya along with carvings of Goddess Ganga and Yamuna. Now again this is the influence of north. Ganga and Yamuna as a Dwarpal or present in the temple are first introduced in North India but subsequently accepted in South India as the addition or the carvings in the temple. Now, let us see the temple. Here you are seeing temple. Now, once you see Nandi, that means it has to be a Shiva temple. Sure, you will like to spend certain time here, like to observe the carvings, like to imagine how much glorified it would have been in its days. See here you are getting two different structures. One was possibly in the 7th century and second possibly in the 10th century. 
So, definitely architectural differences you are getting and this is a information to those who are studying archaeology and temple architecture. Now, this is a step well Pushkarani which is seen in Dravidian temples, one of the mandatory part of the temple, a water source and it has to be there. So, all these temples have got it. With that, we are coming to end of lecture. We have seen just now how different architectural details were there and I am sure you have appreciated them. If you are like the lecture, give us a like. If you want to see more such type of lectures, then do subscribe us. Thank you, goodbye and take care.